so hello everyone welcome back so I do apologize once again for the last recording um, I really don't know what happened to my audio um, but yeah I hope I fixed it this time and yeah if you didn't see me before this then most likely it's fixed or it's close to it but regardless uh, we are gonna open up some darkness ablaze and some vivid voltage today it's gonna be a slight mix today I did play some pre uh, some pre-orders for uh, shiny fates so hopefully those come in as soon as possible like on the 19th I hope um, and I'm still looking and trying to get more so if anyone out there knows when and what sites uh, shiny fates have uh, some pre-orders send them my way because I want to get that set <laughs> like I want to try to get every single shiny that's in that set that's gonna be that's gonna be a big set I think it's around 67 regular cards um, there's some secret rares I believe maybe there's not even any secret rares maybe it's just shiny vaults shiny vaults are basically the shiny Pokemon that are in the set and they have their own separate uh, numbering for the set like it's not even in the set itself so yeah that's that's gonna be crazy and I think there's like 200 and I, I saw this in the morning 222 I believe yeah, 222 shiny vaults plus 60 something and if there's um, secret rares so you're looking at at least almost a 300 set card like set it's gonna be insanity um, and I don't know about you but here in Canada that, that EV ETB that's insanely priced I saw one store that had it for like almost $250 for just one ETB and that was that's insanity in my eyes like that's insanity the Pokemon Center website sells it at 60 something Canadian 66 let's say or 65 something like that 66 Canadian and you sell it for two hundred and fifty dollars Canadian that's insanity in my opinion okay I'm not an expert but that is insanity in my opinion if you sell it for 150 that's no problem right you get like what two and a quarter what you pay come on you, you gotta you gotta keep in mind that the pandemic is out there so so not many people are working like where are you gonna get the money from yes some people have savings just for this and some people make a living off of this right so it's difficult out there but what can you do well without any further rambling I think I got my chest cleared <clears throat> I think so but anyways on to the openings <laughs> so like I said we're getting some darkness ablaze and we're gonna get some vivid voltage but the vivid voltage is coming through Alakazam these ones Alakazam. Alakazam V Box. I was lucky enough to find this, but 
What matters are the pulls, not me finding the box. I need to know it's worth the price. So let's get these and let's open them up. <laughs> All right, so get my trusty scissors. Do I really need my scissors right now? Yeah, you know what? My trusty scissors never failed me before. Let's try to get this open here without damaging that flare on. Stuck in the scissors. Mm, there you go. Ooh. That looks good. Alright, so first promo. Let's get that promo going first. Now it is like distorted. It is it is like a like a C like look at that. That's not straight at all. So I'm probably probably get some heavy stuff and just put it on top of it, just to try to straighten it out just a little bit. It is a sword and shield promo, as you can see. Sword and shield promo. And yeah, let's see how everything works out here. Oh, my camera just went out for a second. There it goes. There he is. Okay. So that's the promo. Alright. So actually, you know what? Let's set the promo over here. I'll sleeve them up afterwards. And let's get into the three Darkness of Blades packs. I'll go with Grimstone. That's it. Grimstone. Gigantamax Grimstone. Right. Actually, you know what? As a thank you for those of you who actually watched my videos last time. Here you go. Going once. Going twice. Gone. Two, three, four. Let's see what we get. We got Aron. Kapchu. Rolled. Jigglypuff, that's my sister. Diglett. Thunder Energy. Clank. Simisage. Grass. Bowling. Smoke. Reverse. Shenotic. And a rare. Mr. Rhyme. Non hollow. I can't wait to get his box. Anyways, set that over here. Now, hopefully this setup is a little bit more better, you know. And I'm not just opening these packs. That one just does not want to come out. Oh, there we go. Okay. You heard that. That was really, really harsh. So, opening up the next one here. Stuck in here. There we go. Alright, so here's another one. Ready, set, here you go. Going once, going twice, and it's out. Ready. One, two, three, four, and two. Is that on the rare? No, okay. 
I thought I had a little chip on the uh, on the angle on the corner there. Mr. Mine. That's going Mr. Ryan. Torches. Aron. Rookity. Wishy washy. Leaf energy. A semisier. Doug trio to go with the template. A rare fossil. A reverse. Spike moth. Ready? A rare. Blaze again. Oh, it's a hollow. Nice. Look at that. That looks really good. That looks nice. Alright, let's set the blades again over here. And the last one that's in here is Gigantamax Charizard. Now, will it give us a Gigantamax Charizard? That is the question. What everyone wants. Charizards. And that one just opened up like a piece of cake. Okay. Teddy or so. So. Ready for another code? Here it is. Going once. Going twice. And it's gone. One, two, three, four, one, two, here we go. We got a Teddy Ursa. Fancy Ear. Moral. A Wishy Washy. Cupid. So cute. A Fighting Energy. Sting. An old PC. Ursaring, a reverse ferret, and a rare Tyranitar. It's a hollow as well. See? It's a hollow. Nice. Alright, so we got two hollows out of the three. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And of course, you get that little coin as well. The Manfi coin. It's a good coin. I like it. It's colorful. It's a beautiful coin. Now, where am I going to put this? I put this over here. All right. So, on to the. Now, don't worry about this. It's just it's hiding right in there. It's like right behind the card. The big card is. I have no idea how it got there. It's probably just packaged badly, but it's in there. I when I saw it the first time, I'm like, why do people open this up and just leave the other cards there? And then when I got a closer look, I'm like, wait, this is still sealed. It's not open at all. So I took a closer look at it, and lo and behold. There's a card stuck behind the big card. I'm just like, that's some bad packaging. But, I don't care about the package. Because, I just care about the packs. And the pack is in there. That's all I care about. Okay. Now this card, I've actually heard, is a really, really good card for PV, uh, for uh, the actual card game. So it has Zen Spoon, which puts three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. 
So that technically means that your opponent loses 30 health. Regardless of where they are, whether they be on the bench or whether it be the active Pokemon. Regardless. And the other one, Mind Ruler, it says this attack does 30 damage for each card in your opponent's hand. That is a monster of attack. So if your opponent has five cards, this that one attack does 150 damage so let me just explain this to you guys for a second for those of you who don't understand the game you get the form that it's in so this is basic form that means you could play it right away as you can see over here tyranitar is a stage two which means it has to evolve from something to get to somewhere so this is a basic you can play this right away that's the HP it has, which is 190. So if my opponent has, what is it, seven cards? Yeah, seven cards, because six would be 180. Yeah, so seven cards. If it has seven cards in his hand, this thing is dead. Well, not my mod, because I'm the one attacking, but it'll do 210 damage. Like, that's insanity. That's that's a really heavy hit. It's a good card. Especially if you want to play the game. Now, let's collect the big one here. And, as I said, right here. Just needed to slide over a little bit. And that's the big guy. Let's put the big guy right here. Let's put his little form right there. Now, let's go for the sword and shield first. And then I'll do sun and moon. I think this is base set, so. Yeah, this is sword and shield base set. So, here's your cold card, guys. Ready? Set. There it is. Three, two, one, gone. And uh, sword and shield. Always four, I believe. If not, then. Oh well. I stand corrected. Sobble. Blimpbug. Beltoid. Lulu. Joltik. Fighting energy. An energy retrieval. Ferrothorn. A heat more. Reverse Galvantula. Go with the Joltic. And our rare. Roserade? Roserade. Non hollow. Non hollow rares. Gotta love them. Without them, ooh, without them, it would just be, you know, just the rares would be all holographic. And that would be back in the ages of, like, base set. But, nonetheless, we're getting some good cards right now. So, this code card, here we go. This is for Sun and Moon. Three, two, one. And I believe Sun and Moon is three, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'll do four just in case. If it's three, then I'm sorry, but I tried. GT Fly. Drowsy, all that drowsy is just. It's in the Isle of Armor. Look, it's in the Isle of Armor. If you play Sword and Shield, then you know what I mean. If you don't, it's just walking on the beach. Roll it. Dark Rat. Dark Energy. Metapod. Plotcat. Rainbow Energy. Reverse Snubble. And a rare. Do you see that? 
then it's a very good card or one of the rare ones oh wow look at that Primarina GX wow that looks clean though the cut looks clean too looks really nice I think it's hard to tell, but I think it's maybe a little bit more top. Or that's just me being paranoid, thinking that all the cards that Pokemon make are just bad. But that's a nice looking card. That's going to sleep <laughs> right away. Like, right now. Not going right over here. All right, now for VV Vivid Voltage. Now, what we're looking for here is the reverse Charizard, number one, and any rare card that I don't have. So, potentially some. Some, how do you say it? some full arts would be really helpful because those don't come by very easily code card ready here you go that's for vv vivid, vivid voltage three two one out it goes Snubble looks like. Oh. Ready. Did I do the trick yet? No, I didn't. One, two, three, four. One, two. All right, so. Graffiti. Empty. Meow. and meow. Let's go to this. Dark energy. Nessa, Trubish are rare. Beedrill, I was looking for you last time. I think I got you already though. I'm pretty sure I do. You would have been more helpful to me in, re in uh, reverse. All right, last pack of the day. another VV so let's see I need some amazing verse two guys come on I can't just get one pull out of that one can I am I just allowed to get one pull here's the cool card three Two. Here we go. It's another Clefairy. Wilmer. Timo. Execute. Leaf Energy. Staff Leaf. I mean, Leaf Staff. Wow. Six Staff Leaf. Charmeleon. Pin. Cur. Chen. Pin Cur. Chen. I'm never going to get used to saying this guy's name. Reggie Rock are rare. Dancy, I don't have this one in hollow. I have it reversed, but not hollow. So that's going to go in the set right away. That's going to go in my binder right away. All right. So I do still have two. Vivid Voltage boxes left. I am planning on doing something special at the end of the year with basically all 
the boxes that I buy with each set that comes out during the year. So I'm planning on having like a massive box openings like in December, like Vivid Voltage starts it off, you know, and then uh, Battle Styles is next. And then whatever sets come out after that. So I think there's, what is there, a total of, now nah, I don't even remember. I think there's a total of four, four or five, four major sets and maybe three special sets that come out or three middle sets or whatever you want to call them. Special sets is what I call them. Um, so there's four regular sets that come out during the year and battle style is the first one for this year right vivid voltage was the last one from last year but since i started with vivid voltage i might as well do vivid voltage first and who knows maybe if i find a way to do it or if someone can help me do it i could make each and every single box from here all the way up to the end of December you know break boxes so in other words that means that you pay for the pack I open the packs on stream and whatever you get is what you get okay and I'll send it to you guys with a cost of course with the pack opening so in other words, what is it right now? I think VV is like six fifty a pack. Well, if it goes to like ten dollars a pack, you know what I mean. And then shipping and everything like that. If it reaches ten dollars by the end of the year, then perhaps, maybe that's a twelve dollar, maybe thirteen dollar per pack. But we'll get there when we get there. And I still have to learn stuff. So, like I said, it's my first year doing it, my first month. And I enjoy it. I like doing this stuff for you guys. But remember, I'm not the only one that can make this channel grow. I need help from everyone else who's watching. So in other words, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share. Spread the word that Mario Pokilax is opening the cards for you guys. And getting monster pulls too. That Pro Marina, that's a prize. That's going to get PSA like whenever I get a chance. Probably in June, I'm going to send some stuff to PSA. Along with the Charizard stuff that I got too. The CGC stuff are going to be like regular kind of things like this. Like that. Like the Cinderace. Those are going to be CGC kind of grades. Well, who, who knows? Probably in six months, CGC grades are better than PSA grades, like cost wise. Because to me, CGC is much better. Appearance, grading, like they, they're very detailed in their grading. Like if you get a 10 CGC, then that's a bloody 10. That's a really good 10. If you get a 10 in PSA, it's like, and it's a little bit of leeway here and there maybe a corner is there but they didn't notice you know so that's how i see it i will see you guys on the next one take care everyone